Many people see the need and benefit of creating places that offer safe, appealing travel options beyond the motor vehicle. Creating changes to the roadway and making it convenient for everyone can take time. What we can all do right away is assess and change how we drive, walk, and bike to help everyone travel safely. But where do we begin? One place to start is understanding common crash scenarios. Driving behavior can have an impact on people who walk and bike, and in a crash, pedestrians and bicyclists are at a higher risk for serious injuries and deaths. These crash scenarios show how these situations unfold and how to adopt safe behaviors to help prevent them from happening when encountering similar situations when driving, walking, or biking. For instance, one of the most common situations that leads to serious bicyclist injuries or death is when a driver tries to pass them. Let's take a look at how this crash occurs and behaviors that can prevent it. This crash may happen when a driver passes a bicyclist too closely, either striking the bicyclist or causing the bicyclist to lose control or balance. This type of crash may happen when a driver does not provide sufficient space between the bicyclist and the vehicle. By law in most states, drivers must yield to bicyclists until they are able to pass at a safe distance. This crash is preventable. When driving, you should drive alert and focused, watching for bicyclists. Slow down when approaching a bicyclist from behind. Wait to pass until it's safe to move over and provide at least three to five feet of distance between the vehicle and the bicyclist. Refrain from honking while passing a bicycle as this can startle the bicyclist and cause a crash. And make sure you are clear of the bicyclist before returning to the lane. When riding a bicycle, you should make yourself as visible as possible, using front and rear lights when riding at night, ride in the same direction as traffic, and ride in the center of the lane if there is not enough space to share the road with a motor vehicle. As a road user, there are actions we can take to move around safely. By understanding how and why this crash can occur, we can adopt safe behaviors to help prevent them. Visit the Pedestrian and Bicycle Information Center to learn more about this type of crash and other crash scenarios.